Ooh. Ooh. We're live. I may be delirious. I don't know. You just might be, um, you might have bumped your head. With the flu? Mm hmm. I bumped it on the flu. Yeah. I think I should shut that window. <clears throat> Thanks, B. All right, you guys, I sound a little bit less like a toad, so that's cool. And I'm feeling really well. Thank you for everyone that is asking. What up, Holly? Jeff's gotten a question a lot about... I've seen questions. Nobody's really asked us, but I've seen them, and I saw one today. Sorry for interrupting you. But Let me just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, let's try it, because I've never tried it, and I've been... I've been wanting to do some kind of texture on it just to see. Um, some of that stuff I think is kind of tacky, kind of like 80s, 90s hotel artwork. Um, a little crafty. Yeah. So I just wanted to see and people are getting into it so might as well just test it and see what we can use. I got two different things. Um, all purpose joint compound, which the guy said it dries really fast. So we'll try that. And I just got this on my own, plastic wood, all-purpose wood filler. Stainable, paintable, can be trolled and mold. Trowled, trolled, trowled, looks and acts like real wood. Can troll it. Easy water cleanup. All right. Oh, it's gonna get crazy. Oh, God. it's so crazy. Oh. Um. Oh, yeah. So let's do this. Let's draw on there where we want the. Where we want the. But first. First, you see this? Oh. That's not what I was but firsting. I forgot we had. That sounds just like high school. Mm -hmm. Jeff has a mounted pencil sharpener. And I I told him he would never use a pencil sharpener right here. I was just proven wrong. After four <clears throat> months. Alright, so. Wait. Now that stripper music's over, you can talk. Also, please subscribe. <clears throat> oh yeah, we uh, need ring to. the bell and thumbs up. Well, what if we did this? If somebody doesn't have gesso, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna paint half of this. I'll paint half of this, and then with gesso, spray gesso, and then I will put that stuff on half here and then we'll put the wood stuff on half here and see how it looks or how it dries because why not raw versus painted you don't want to just make a painting i don't know like let's test this one and then we'll do that one like on another video because i want to see you make like a rock formation with this stuff so what if we did this why don't we just put that on here let it dry and then we could just paint it. I think so. Yeah, so let's just draw some, hey maybe a little cove or something. I'm so excited for your sale, Vamp. I did just get your message, but um, since this, I haven't checked it. Hi, Eva, how are you? Okay. Thanks, Jessica. B, that looks beautiful. What is it? It's a little hidden cove in the islands of Madagascar. Oh. <laughs> so, what I'm thinking, I guess you just kind of... Scoop out it? Scoop out it. No need to stir because it's already... It looks like go. melted ice cream. Like a milkshake that's getting there. Yeah. 
It doesn't yeah. really smell. Nope. So, I guess I'll just put it on it. Sometimes you gotta just put it on it, B. While you're putting it on it, I'm gonna read some instructions. Because I don't know why we didn't do that first. Uh, well, I've messed with it before doing actual faux walls with my friend enough Michael move. Graves. Mm -hmm. Use directly from container. Stir lightly if separated. Add water if you need to. Yeah, you can make it a little thinner if you like. Only use it on indoors. Apply over dry surface. Allow each coat to dry before applying another coat. Within the working area. So how about we do not so much in one spot there? Yeah, it's it's talking about layers, but it doesn't say how thick of a layer you can put it. Yeah. I don't know. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. Um, I have another order for more 007 in right now. I should have it. She should. It's in stock with her, so it should go out in the next couple days. What is? What is it? What is it? Are we already sold out of 007? I think Janice has found some magic in a little jar. Big magic in a little jar. Um, it says something. What did you say when you started fast drawing? Yeah. I'm going to put the heat gun on this. Mm. Mm. It says allow 24 hours between applications. Mm, lovely. <laughs> we might have to come back to this, people. But you can't just put your finger in there all willy-nilly. Um, Floyd, I was on something. I was on the phone with GoDaddy for like an hour and a half today, and they said that if you clear your cash, cache, cash, 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 um, in your phones, it may help. But I haven't, you know, I don't have one, so I don't know if that would fix your problem. So if you know how to do that, will you just try that and let me know if it works? That way I can go back to them and be like, you're dumb. You're dumb. Mm -hmm. I had to go to your post and like forward a picture of someone's like screenshot that says there's nothing in your store yeah. for them to be like, oh, <laughs> hmm. Like it got escalated and I was put on hold. I don't know how many times. So I spoke to like five different people. Yeah. Hi, Lisa. It is a beautiful day. See if this drives that fast. <laughs> Take this off. <clears throat> what, what about the about other if... stuff you got have to dry? Oh, let me read that. We do have another board that we can put this on if it um, drives faster. Okay. Babe, you can see it drying. Yeah. Is there like a peel back label? It doesn't really tell me that much. Mm. I just didn't look at all the sides. Yeah, we'll probably have to wait. It gets a little bit, a little bit lighter. It's like the outside's drying, but the inside's not like. Yeah. Are you gonna put like some in this? I think you should do one like that. Like you know how water washes up 
Mm. And it like gets caught, you know? Mm -hmm. You can see it drying. You can see like the little, the little lines drying. I will check that. Julie, thank you for finding it for me. Lisa, I use... I'll have to check. Just send me an email and I will send you a picture of the bottle of my purple shampoo. Jessica says, how long does that stuff take to dry before it can be sent? It won't cure for a month, I hear. Well, this says it cures in 24 hours um, before you can put like the next layer on. Yeah, like this top part, like this part feels like it's touched to the, dry to the touch, but underneath, yeah, it'll probably take a day to dry. Yeah. If you dry stuff like this too quickly, like the outside gets dry before the inside, it's going to crack on you, so you have to be really careful. Uh, but then again, for what we're doing, it wouldn't really matter. Yeah. That's awesome, Linda. Um, so this stuff, Heather, is all-purpose shoot rock, like plaster stuff. Really, Clara? That sucks. I would send it back. Janine, we're still munching on those cookies you left here. They're amazing. Yeah, we want to make some gold cupcakes. Oh, yeah, Jeff's obsessed with... He wants some gold cupcakes. Like, every Sunday. Hold I wanna, on. I want to do a promotion. Moose, hey. Just because the windows are open doesn't mean you can talk to everybody outside. It's not a sing along, okay? It would probably work if you did a little bit thinner layers, you know? Do you want the other? Let's just try this. We're going to put a little island in the middle. Floyd, it worked? For real, for real? Clear your cookies. Your cookies or your cash? Cash. What does that mean? Basically, basically what how we explained it was is that their phone is reverting back to the original page before we got everything like put on it somehow, some reason. And so for it to auto like go to our current one, you have to clear the cache which is basically like an internal memory. It's kind of like history, but more memory. More memory error? Yeah. Like when you tell websites to save your password for you, that's in the cache. Oh, I see. Makes sense. Which goes as follows. Do you guys choose what you want and what materials you would like to use based on things you want to do? Because I've seen a lot of people using these products. Um, we, Judy, Judy, Julie, we had, um, Jeff saw a whole bunch of people asking questions about this lately, so that's why we decided to do a video on it. A lot of times our videos are based on what we see people asking the most questions of because that's how we feel we can best help the most people. I'll send a message to um, Petra and see what she uses. Um, sure, Jessica. Thank you, Maggie. Right, Holly? It's not everybody's phone, and it's mostly Androids that had that issue where they would go to our website and it would show the shop being empty. Oh, she uses ResiCrete. Oh, we're glad you're here, Maggie. So, what's up, Brenda? So, the next step that you would do with this after it dries is... Yeah, it's starting to crack right here. 
I think it's because I moved it. I was I was doing this, and I think it, that's why I did it. it should, if anywhere, it should be cracking up here and right here, but it's it's not. Yeah. So the next step would be um, we're going to spray it with spray gesso to make it all white. And then you could, I would, go ahead and paint your rocks the color that you want them, your yeah. land source. And actually, you could probably keep the base, this wood color, because that's what color, like, sand would be. Yeah, but this is real wood. So? So it has to be primed. You get air bubbles. That's also true. So I would just polycrylic it then. Yeah. I really wanted to be able to use this. Hi, Robin. So hot. Regular two prop Bondo is what you use it on edge of countertops. It's close to what you're using. Maybe oh, we'll try that. Bondo drives way faster. <laughs> Bondo drives super fast, and that's that's actually fun. It's a lot easier. I mean. I've never sculpted this, but I've sculpted Bondo, and if you get the right sand, sanding and, and sandpaper and stuff, sanding utensils, you can sculpt out of Bondo. We're glad too, Abby. Larry, do you have a flip phone? <laughs> Jessica, I'm not really sure what it is. Oh, I Did see Did you send me a message? <laughs> Primate tan, I think so. Well, that's awesome, Paula. Anytime we can inspire someone to get back into arting is amazing. That's our job. That's one of our, our key. Okay, I have to put this away because I'm going to sit here and mess I know, it. you're going to keep poking it. I'm going to keep poking at it. So, are you going to use the other stuff on the other one? Or, like, what do you want to do since we can't? Let's just do it. All right. This is the one that our friend made for us. And I don't know how to say her name, and I'm very embarrassed about that. Marisol's wife. Um, I, don't wanna, I don't wanna say it wrong, so I'm not even gonna say it. Officer Wifey. <laughs> Officer Wifey. Um, all right, so we're gonna try some plastic wood. <laughs> it says break. If Greg's in here or answers this, have you ever used it? And what's it like? <laughs> or Ray's way in here. Ooh, so woody. Very woody. Oh, thank you, Abby. I appreciate that. We're gonna do an island in the middle. Of the Bahamas. It looks almost like a plane, but like a shark shaped plane. Right, Clara? Vam says that stuff crumbles like a mother. So I should hurry? Probably. Get it where you want it and then. Something. Then we'll just like spray seal it in. I think I just saw your order, Floyd. Thank you, Mallory. I am feeling better. Not 100 yet, but I'll get there soon. We really appreciate that, Abby. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Vamp, what did you what did you use this for? What were you doing with it? Probably the same awesome. Brenda says, Windsor Newton, do an extra thick sculpting paste. Used it to create a wave. Looked, a, Took acrylic paint and resin next day without issues. I 
Heather says, I've had nothing but issues using household stuff except for the stuff you add water to and can't remember the name of it. Linda loves your finger painting. <laughs> I think I might try this. I'm going to try to do some like rocks. Like Isla rocks. Okay. Floyd, thank you. Y'all are so sweet. Gina Marie made a few bowls out of joint compound and a balloon. Vamp says I was actually filling in wood floors and trim on the house. Uh, I'm going to do this like the, this will be the south side of the island. Mm -hmm. So it'll be crashing and this side will be beachy. Mm. Mm. Julie, I thought I was going to have laryngitis for a minute too. Slash and or strep. Hey, that looks just so amazing. Hey, Paula in South Africa. That sounds so fun. Y'all, I never thought I'd see the day Jeff was, first of all, doing any kind of abstract work. This is an abstract. It would be realism. There's nothing abstract about this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We could just put one big volcano in the middle. Are you putting a cenote or a volcano? I'm, I'm it doesn't work that way. Come on. <clears throat> oh, Jessica, you're talking about the painting from yesterday, the 10 by 10 square. Looks like it's drying. It does. Mmm! It's <laughs> so good! <laughs> it's just like the other stuff. It's pillowy. So impatient. I know it. Do you want to go ahead and do a level one for meantime? Between time? Yes, we are. We're going to use like Craft paint. Craft paint? We haven't used that in a long time. Just press pot. Just say Here, it's Phil. Phil who? Please? No. That's Shambom. No. I can call him later. Sorry, Phil, if you're watching. <laughs> We're live. This, this is pretty much the same. We have to just let it set. So I think we're gonna do a level one. We're gonna do old school. Well, technically not. It'll be old school for resin, I, I should say. We're gonna put, we're gonna show you how much uh, acrylic paint to put in resin so you don't mess it up and we'll probably do a couple to where we put too much in and we'll show you what it looks like kind of thing should we paint this I thought we would just spritz it. I mean like with this. Um, um, you guys, so that it's easier for people that want to see the level one pour, 
so it's easier for them to find it's not hidden behind this other piece that we we're doing I'm gonna end this feed and just start a new one so I'm quitting this feed I'm gonna end this one and so if you're watching this just watch the next jump one. just jump on the next one <laughs> just jump there What's up, y'all? Again. Level one pour. Why are those still there? They need to be filled now. Yeah, I need to go through those. For sure, for sure. Hey, B. Uh -uh. Oh, budget. Gotcha. Yeah. On budget. Budget. On a budget. Budget. We're back, Bajit. you guys. So, um, Beyond is one that has been asking tirelessly for us to do a level one. Poor. She's not even here today, but she's probably in class and things. So I'm gonna let her I'm gonna let her slide. Let her get her learn on. Let her get her learn on. So for this pour, we're gonna use acrylic paint, craft paint, and Envirotex. We started our resin adventure with Envirotex, and y'all, I'm not kidding. This stuff will yellow on you. nice ambery hue color do you want to spritz this before we I gave you yeah. the thing right there so what we're going to do if you have pretty much a level one through three canvas from hobby lobby or michael's or your local art supply store this is actually a little bit better canvas a little stretched a little better some of them have the staples which and you can tell it's very um loose canvas it's you know just not it's poorly put together basically this one's a little bit better quality um, but if you want you can take your little water bottle just spritz the back of it a little bit you don't want it you're not trying to drench it take your heat gun and then just give it give it some little heat there and this should tighten it up a little bit Is it buffering right now, y'all? It looks like it. Buffering issues. Clara says if you're having issues, try reloading. Hey, Petra. A little better. But I'm going to spray. Better. I'm going to spray this spray Dawn. gesso by Krylon. You can get this at your Hobby Lobby or Michaels or uh, I got this online on Amazon and we do have it in our Amazon account just check the link below you can find it on there and we appreciate it when you guys buy from our Amazon links because it does help us out a little bit and you're not trying to you know you're not trying to like you know have all kinds on here 
Um, all you're doing is just giving it a good layer. And this does make it smoother too, because these, these canvases uh, are pretty rough. You can actually hit this with like a 400 um, or 260, something like that, 260, and then do a 400 and it gets it nice and smooth. But I'm just gonna do this and then we'll hit it with some 400 after it dries. Um, Jacqueline, it's, it's up to you. Everybody has preference. Or just what's available. We lately have been leaning more towards pouring on our uh, cradle boards that we have in our shop. This stuff dries really fast, so you won't have to wait long. Now, if you do a, a large piece, I would definitely let it dry for at least a day because you put quite a bit on there just covering a larger piece of wood just so you're sealing, make sure you're sealing it and getting it nice and smooth. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd let it dry for a day just so you know it's completely dry and all the... All the, all the stuff is out of there and Eva our ours isn't showing buffering just reload what is that We should reload, but I don't know if it's going to interrupt our feed if I do I don't think it will. I think it'll just... And if it does, I guess we'll just have to restart it. Don't, don't do that. Just do that. I know. I'm scared about what is going to happen if I reload this. It fixed it. Ours is just doing that. Everybody else can see it. Okay. Tuck... Touch that, see what you feel about that. It's good. But like, put your hand over it. Is it dry dry? Oh yeah, it's good. Okay. You just take some 400, and you're just gonna lightly go over this, just to, just if there's any kind of raised surface or dust or whatever. Hi, Mom. How are you doing? Just, you're just getting it a little smooth, and you can hear the difference once you go over something with the sandpaper. Thank you, Angela. Wondering art All and right. feeling great. Thank you. So, let's mix this. This is <coughs> Envirotex Light. Mm -hmm. This is what we used to use back in the day. Um, and it's also a one to one. So, you just pour one to one and mix. Mix it good. We're going to have to keep um, mindful that this is not. Stone coat? Yes, this is not stone coat countertops resin. Because this is a 30, 45 minute max resin situation. Thank you, Heather. I feel a lot better. So, if we were working on something bigger, I would be concerned. But this is a hmm, 9 by 12 canvas. So, we got time. Yes, Wondering Art, it works really well to tighten up the canvas. It, think of it like if you put something that's 100% cotton in your dryer and put the heat on high, it's going to shrink. So most canvases are linen or cotton stretched. So if you wet it and put a lot of heat on it, it's going to shrink up a bit. And just be mindful. Don't pour a bunch of resin on here. Don't you know load this up because it will sit. It'll... It'll find the lowest spot, and what it'll do is, if, if it's heavy, it'll it'll go down there and it'll it'll sag your sag your canvas. Clara, I got my um, the heart you sent me. It's beautiful. It's on our refrigerator. Thank you, Clara. It was nice. Um, Stone coat should be live tonight. 
Thank you, Jessica. I, I don't know why they wouldn't be. I think they missed last week. Robin says my sweatshirt is bananas. I love it so much. I'm glad. Thanks for the heads did up, you, Sherry. Did you redo this one? Did you stop it and redo it? What? Because it says 36 minutes. Okay, I did stop it and started another one. Oh. All right, well, I just don't know why it would say that. I don't know. Oh, it's second week now? I, I can text Mike, but I don't know if he's gonna answer me before this um, feeds over. Come here. All right, so. What we got we got three colors okay. we're gonna do some white this is a mural paint mural paint markers uh, it's just a thick acrylic yeah th this is a really good paint like and for some reason it's on sale at Azel art supply um, it's very opaque um, a really good this is a really good white to be using for something like this we're glad you're here Sherry so I'm just going to. Oh. Stoneco has a lot of faux granites. Yeah. Hi, so Daphne. Let's shoot this up a little bit. I didn't know this was. I thought it would be a little bit. Oh, yeah. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit in here. That's you think that's enough? I think you can always add more. That's our that's our motto. There's something in there. Thank you, Christina. Yeah, I'm good. I I'm still a little bit down with the crud, but um, today's my last day of medicine. Be good to go. I am Sherry. Thank you for asking. This looks a little transparent. Hi, Daphne. You Doing can tell good. It's, it's a little transparent. Um, so then what you want to do is you just just get a little bit more and just add until it, you know, it's it's to a consistency. Yes. And this is the thing. It makes it thin like this paint makes it thin. So you have to be careful. Um, I say it would be all right because we're using a, black, a white background. Mm -hmm. So, and if we need to add more white, we can do that. I mean, it's it's pretty. I think you should add a drop more. Just a teeny bit. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Cherry. Much better. Thank you, Misty. Because if you put too much, I kind of want to do mm -hmm. it just to show them. Well, you're going to have leftovers, so just. Um. And, and, and keep in mind, this stuff does not have the working time of stone coat. So this stuff is mural paint markers. It's by, um, what is this company called? I can never find it. Chroma. Um, Chroma. That's right. Art District Acrylic. This is bright aqua green. I'm going to show you. I'm just literally going to put... Can you okay, Mitch? Um, here we go. Pretty much two drops. I'm just going to do two drops of that. I think you did that right behind the pop-up video. Oh, really? Yeah. We did. <laughs> they could still kind of see it. But there you go. Uh, that's a little transparent as well. I'll move over. I'm going to do one, two more drops. If we would have used resin paint, it would have already been opaque. Yeah. So just keep that in mind when you're not wanting to buy, like, you don't even have to buy from me, but paint that's supposed to be in resin will last you longer because you're not having to fill your paint with. One, two, three. 
colors that may not mix in very well. Are you noticing any tadpoles or? Mm -mm. Okay, it just looks very translucent. Like it looks like gelatin almost. Like you can tell that it's acrylic paint. Misty is chromium expensive. This is the only white that we have in acrylic. This is the route why I grabbed this one. You can use for a level one pour any craft paint. I don't even have any deco art. Yeah, Clara, we're gonna, with whatever we have left, resin, we're gonna show what happens if you overload your paint, if we have anything left. I had that uh, wood on my glove, that plastic wood. <laughs> That's awesome, Diane. I'm glad you're feeling so much better. I really wasn't paying attention to what kind of acrylics I was grabbing. I just wanted to make sure it was good colors and it wasn't anything expensive. Like Art District is it's the cheap stuff. The cheap brand that's kind of like it's, deco art yes yeah. you can still paint with it you can paint with it all you want you if you like it you make it work that's on you that's and good for you because it's hard to make that stuff work really well if you can make beautiful art with craft paint you can make brilliant yeah. pieces with design paint And if you're new to the channel and you're wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm not making a Molotov cocktail bomb. I'm just putting some uh, alcohol on a rag to wipe my hands off so I don't get everything all sticky. Um, how do you want to do this? We've never swiped with a... It's not going to do any what you want it to do, but... Should we just do like a dirty pour? Sure. Oh yeah, Stephanie, the peacock is one of my favorite pieces that we've done. That piece now lives above Judy's mantle. She loves that piece, as do we. Oh, I'm sure it was tough, Jeff, Jessica, but at least you got through it. Right, Stephanie? The growth has been crazy. And when you're working with these paints, don't leave these in your cup for too long because they will start to blend together. And it'll, what should I do? Just, you wanna do like a ring pour? No. What? Okay, do a ring what? pour. What, do you tell me? I would just do like a ribbon pour, but. I knew since they're kind of transparent that your rings aren't going to stay and look like what you want them to. And that green just stayed. Yeah, I agree, Daphne. We probably could have put a little bit more paint in there. Very soft. It is very candy-like. Mm-hmm. But it's almost cloudy looking. It is. What up, JJ? Good luck on our interview, Angela. I 
remember when we used to get these little dots and I was like, I got sales. That was cute. Thank you, Miss Sanders. I'm glad you're here. It does very look cotton candy-ish. Mm -hmm. There are tiny little cells, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's that heat and tilt. Let's do, let's put a little bit more in there. I'm legit craving bubble gum. This. This is why I do that. Let's see. My hands are too slippery. Do you want me to, <laughs> can we use my muscles? No grab on this. Mm-hmm. But you just don't want me to use my muscles. Those little baby baby cells. This is already getting hot. And it smells like ammonia. I'm pretty sure, Holly. So I just I just put about twice the amount of white paint in here. Snacks. Snacks. <laughs> you can tell the consistency is so much thicker than your other colors. Yeah. Did you guys already do the texture? No, this one doesn't have any texture in it. Our texture pieces are setting up. Yeah, let's try to use a heat gun. Christina, today it's Envirotex. Because we got a lot of requests on how to best use level one or intro budget materials. Oh, I'm glad you're here, Jessica. It was fun. Look at those tiny cells. You oh, have to boy. be firm with your... <laughs> It looks good. Man. Just tilt it. Yeah. Um, Sarah, Sarah, we have used the powders that can be used in soaps. Those are micas, and we we have a lot of them. The ones for soaps, like Brambleberry, we've tried. Some of them are good and some of them you get little tadpoles in them where the color doesn't mix in all the way. But you can use it. It does work. Have courage, Julie. Yeah, Christina, way back in the day, if you guys ever like check out our old school <gasps> videos, Cujo. We could probably... No! Cujo! Come here. Don't start that today. Come here. No! no. Come here. Sorry, I didn't even think about those. <laughs> it was... No. I was watching the... Ooh, yeah, this is a little... No. Our windows are open, so he was talking about all of it. So, we've had a lot of people request using these pigments and intro level uh, materials like a skinny canvas and envirotex teal in here and make some purple so that's what we're doing today 
See that? I just put, I just added that teal and made some purple. That right, way. Sherry? I agree. This would be great for a unicorn. I'm going to check on this boy. Make a nice little fade here. Doesn't See if that'll work. Rusty, um, is that, no, I haven't used five minute quick set, but it sounds like something that could have been cool for today's experiment. It looks like it's getting, um, it's, it's starting to set up. Yep. Yeah, floater in a dry spot. I really like how this looks, B. This like floating wave looking situation. B. Mm -hmm. The Exacto blade? Um, These are all like, they don't touch. I don't have an Exacto blade. I, have, I should have one in here, a knife. Agreed, Abby. It is very cotton candy-ish. You're clear, except for there's just a dot right there. And um, you have a dry spot. It looks like two of them. You got it, Daphne. Thanks for stopping in, Christina. 007 gold glitter. Burning it. Um, hi, Marie in Sweden. We made some cells with the white. I gotta do a true color video. Pretty cool. Some parts of this actually look like yeah. an acrylic pour. Oh, I thought you said you were gonna say like a resin pour with resin pigments. That white, that's fun white. It is a good white though. I, I mean, this is a really good white. Yeah, that's not the cheapest of paints. So if you guys are just joining us, this is all uh, acrylic pigments, <laughs> acrylic paint in uh, Envirotex light resin. This is not stone coat resin. So it is able, you're able to get uh, cells. I think your white just has to be a little, you know, a decent white. And I think we did put not enough paint in here. I guess we haven't done it in, God, a year. Probably longer. See, this stuff's already setting up hot. All right, true color videos posted. Um, Don, I had, um, 
all online. I, they may be gone by now, but I have another shipment of them coming in the beginning of the week. It's stringy. Yeah. You're going to get your bracelet in there. Right, Vamp? I haven't seen her in a couple days, though, so I wasn't sure. Um, the gold is 007. There is a pale gold that's really nice, though. If the 007 is out, check out the pale gold. Come here. Actually, I like this piece, so I'm not going to see how long it takes to yellow. I'm just going to seal it in with um, some stone coat. Yeah, it's a nice piece. It's good. <laughs> Hi, precious boy. I know it. It's fun. It's, it's like a toxic... Toxic Beach, number does, two. It does look like part two, Toxic Beach. Don't put anything else on it. I know. I thought about trying to put some of this in here and see what, what happens. See what, why is this? Why is this blue and this is yellow? You got a lemon drop. I'm gonna try to put some of this Color Obsession tint in here. See what it does. I'm going to... So this is the color, and I just put a little bit in there. I'm going to take the piece. Look at that. So that you don't drip on it. Teal! Them. How fun is that? And now I'm going to put some purple in this one. Just a little bit. Just a couple drops. Now you know if you want to, if you want to just get rid of your acrylic paints. All right, this stuff is starting to set. We're gonna have to do a, a mush over this. It's a lot. Hopefully, this doesn't set up. This is still squishy. Well, it will be. We could probably put it in. This is turning into marshmallows. <laughs> hurry, 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 You never want to. You never want to do that. You never want to put too much heat on that resin. Ooh, that's pretty. There you go. Look at that. Look at that purple. Look when those two colors match even. Like it gives it even more. I'm going to hit that with the heat gun. So I'm trying exactly what you're talking about. I think it's in maybe Australia. Don't, you're not a fan of the petal? I'm just, I forget about it, so I don't, I don't know that it's even there. The marshmallow day is sentimental. Y'all, I used to get marshmallow fluff every painting. Those are some great colors, B. They are. Look at those little cells. They're little so exploding. Mooey. It looks like there's a ridge right here, but I don't think there is. Let me keep that one. It's a whale with teeth. <laughs> mm -hmm.
Y'all, when it starts to turn to marshmallow fluff and then you heat it up to get it to be more um, workable, that's when you can really smell that chemically melting plastic smell. There you go. Look at there. We got us some coasters. Acrylic coasters. It looks like it's glowing. What, Pupper? You want to up here? Okay, come here. You want to come up here? You want to come up here with me? You want to see up here? Come on. Come here. Come on. Oh. He wants me to pick him up, and then he, like, bows down. Like, no, 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 no. No. These are gorgeous pieces, B. Good jobbing. Here's the marshmallow. Mmm, marshmallow -y. Look. It's like when you try to make Rice Krispie treats. Like, it literally just, like... You're not on camera. They can't know it. No. Just almost on camera. It looks like you're about to make some of that, like, <laughs> right behind the. It looked like you were about to do, like, some Cold Stone Creamery magic. Well, that's what I was doing. Oh. Well, then there you go. Cold Stone magic! Mmm. And if you guys don't want to uh, mess with the backs of these, get you some wax paper. Um, any kind of paper that's like waxing or this butcher paper with the shiny side make sure that's up and you could just lay these on here and you'll have a smooth bottom there won't be any drips so you don't have to sand them down make sure if you're using this kind of paper that it's shiny side up yes I know what you're talking about Jessica so hope you guys we're entertained at least. Learn something. Learn something new. Um, those okay. texture pieces should be set by tomorrow. And so tomorrow we will do our video on like a textured ocean pour. Cool. Yeah, cool. Edges are super dry. But yeah. yeah. It's going to be till tomorrow till we can pour on it. Anyways, you guys, I can't even see you because this is in the way. Anyways, um,. I gotta go fill orders and take care of the little boy dog. But tonight is date night, so we're gonna, I don't know if we're gonna do anything cause I'm still on the mend. But yes, that was Envirotex. Um, something, I can't remember. Maybe we'll just go see a movie and chill. Um, if you have any requests for a kind of video, Shoot me an email, thorntonartistillet.com. Two T's, two L's. Follow us on all the social media. You can find it over here to see some behind the scenes exciting things that we do, like fill orders, because that's the excitement in my life right now. And I feel a lot better. Thanks, y'all. Um, Thanks, Holly Green Giant. So, yeah. Subscribe if you want to. <clears throat> Leave a thumbs up, comment stuff yeah share subscribe tell your friends to subscribe i want to i want to get to fifty thousand subs <laughs> one day i think we'll make it to 25 this month hopefully we're at 24 5 right now yep so we need 500 more go tell 500 of your friends to join us yeah tell them go be sweet yeah you be sweet <laughs> Anyways, you guys, enjoy the stripper music. Be kind to one another. Never know what someone may be going through. And we'll see y'all manana. In about 10 minutes, Ann. <laughs> yeah. Check back. It's about to go, like, it's about to be replayable. So, uh, we'll see y'all manana. Bye. I said bye. Did I just hit you in my ponytail? Kind of. Oh.